Hey, welcome to Jersey Beast TV. So I got a question from a guy named Liam. He's in my men's Facebook group, my men's training group. Um, and he has a problem hitting the upper inner portion of his chest. He says it's super underdeveloped. The rest of his chest is fine, but he can't seem to hit that upper inner half of his chest. So what I want to do today is show you a pressing variation that I've used uh, numerous times. It really gets a good pump in the chest, but really accentuates the inner portion of the chest, gives you some separation. Um, now, you can do this on flat bench or incline bench. Given the fact that he's having trouble with this upper portion of the chest, we're gonna go with an incline variation today. But what I wanna say about your incline presses is a lot of guys put the bench too high. So you see it at regular gyms that have benching stations or fixed benches, flat benches, fixed incline benches. A lot of times the incline's too high and you feel more in the shoulders than you do your chest. So I would recommend doing your presses with a power rack and an adjustable bench or doing them with dumbbells and an adjustable bench because it allows you to control the angle uh, of the bench. So when you go to do your incline presses, what you wanna do, if you have an adjustable bench like this, what you wanna do is start it off in the flat portion, okay? And come up one or two notches. One notch is a slight incline. Two notches is a little bit higher of an incline. Three notches puts, you, puts my bench at 45 degrees, anything 45 degrees and above is too high in my opinion. I would even say less than 30 degrees. So you don't want to be like this, you know, here or lower. Even a slight incline off of the flat bench is better for your upper portion of your chest. So I'm gonna bring this bench back down to the next setting above flat. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two dumbbells. Instead of doing your regular pressing variation that you normally do in the gym, you're almost gonna treat this as like a fly hybrid. So you're gonna take your dumbbells, all right? Press them up, put them together. This works better with hex dumbbells, but you can do it with round, one as, round ones as well. Bring the dumbbells to your chest and press. Elbows tucked in. And not only does it give you a good pump in the chest, but it actually hits that upper inner portion of the chest. So that's a cool variation. Again, you can do it with a flat bench or an incline bench. Maybe try and substitute your flies with this exercise after you do your flat bench or your incline bar bench. Um, it's a great exercise, again, to give you that some separation in the inner portion of the chest and give you a good pump. Start off with lighter weights and then progress to the higher ones because it is a different movement. You do have to hold the dumbbells together. And what I like to do is actually push, don't just hold them together, but actually force them together at the top. Because what that means is if you're pushing the dumb, if you're physically pushing the dumbbells together, it's gonna keep your chest engaged and keep contraction through the entire movement. So give it a try. If you wanna make it extra tough, maybe do like a three or five second negative. One, two, three, four, five, press. Um, but again, hopefully this helps Liam. And for those of you other guys who have trouble creating separation in the chest, Play around with this variation, I guarantee it'll work. If you guys are interested in more training tips, nutrition tips, supplement tips, and just lifestyle um, lifestyle hacks as far as getting in shape, join my Facebook men's group, or my, men, <laughs> my men's Facebook group. I'm gonna link it up in the comment section below. If you're not already a part, I post a lot of free stuff in there and um, free programs, etc. So if it's something that you're interested in and you're interested in bettering your life, join the group. Again, I'll put it up in the comments down below. See you guys in the next video.